All right, now when I was a kid, I loved Halloween. You get to put on a costume, have strange men throw candy at you. What's not to love? You'd be sitting there in school, just waiting to get out of class so you could go trick or treating. I'm gonna eat so much candy tonight, I'm gonna be diabetic by tomorrow morning. So after school, all my friends would meet up at Michael's house. Michael's stepdad would be sitting there talking shit about our costumes. What the hell are you supposed to be? Johnny Depp? Johnny Depp? No, I'm a goddamn vampire. Oh, what about your stupid friend there? What is he, some kind of cowboy pimp? Um, no. I'm the macho man Randy Savage. All of a sudden, Michael walks in all dressed up. You guys like my sweet Montel Williams costume? God damn it, Michael. You've been Montel Williams the past three years. Get a new costume already. I'm not buying a new costume every year. What do I look like? I'm made of money? Besides, he likes being Montel Williams, don't you, Michael? Yeah, I'm a talk show host. Who wants a paternity test? So we head off to go trick-or-treating. My friend Steven looks like an idiot because it's 1997, and every goddamn kid in the neighborhood was the scream mask that year. Now, all of us had one goal in mind, and that was to get as much candy as possible. And Michael had the best strategy for getting the most candy. We'd go up to a house and he'd be like, Trick or treat! Oh, and today's my birthday too! Oh, well, happy birthday! You get an extra piece of candy with your cute little Steve Harvey costume. Michael, what the hell? Your birthday's in August! Yeah, so what? If you lie to people, they give you more candy! So every house we went up to, Michael would just make something up. Trick or treat! Um, I have lupus! Ah, oh, sick! What the fuck, lupus? Here, take an extra piece of candy! God damn it, Michael, stop telling people you have lupus! Now, I didn't lie to people because, uh, uh, well, I'm not a piece of shit like Michael was, but I did get extra candy when people liked my costume. Oh, sweet, look, it's Johnny Depp. I love what's eating Gilbert Grape. Here's an extra piece of candy. But then you'd have some houses that only passed out nasty candy that nobody liked. You guys like Smarties? I got some Mary Janes here. Anybody want those? Uh, no, I'll just take this dog turd in your yard instead. Thanks anyways. Because nobody wants to eat that shit. It's disgusting. You try to trade all your nasty candy to your friends? Anybody want to trade me for this box of Good and Plenty's? Michael, I'd rather eat out of somebody's asshole than eat a box of Good and Plenty's. Oh, come on, they're not that bad. Nobody wants your goddamn good and plenties, Michael. I'd rather eat stuff under the kitchen sink than any of that black licorice bullshit. But the worst house on the street was this old lady that wouldn't pass out candy at all, but instead would give kids little orange Bibles to read. Uh, do you got any Snickers instead? Would you rather have Snickers or be saved from eternal damnation? Uh, the Snickers. Yeah, we'll take the Snickers. My soul isn't worth a damn anyways. Now, we didn't want to just walk around our broke-ass neighborhood getting Mary Janes and Bibles all night, so we walked over to the rich neighborhood where all the good stuff's at. Holy hell, look at the size of this house. Is this where Batman lives? Uh, what the hell are you guys supposed to be? The village people? I'll be whatever the hell you want me to be if you give me candy. They give us full-size candy bars and shit. We can't believe it. We're walking away mesmerized. This is amazing. They gave me a full-size Kit Kat bar and I didn't even have to take my clothes off. We all switch our costumes around, walk back up to the house and try to get another candy bar. Uh, you guys sure seem familiar. Oh yeah, I'm the macho man. Oh, and I have hepatitis too. Oh, sick. Get your hepatitis us ass out of here. Finally, it's the end of the night. Our pillowcases are stuffed full. We're dragging them on the ground like we're trying to dispose of a dead body. We get back to Michael's house. His stepdad's over there half drunk. Well, goddamn, Elton John. That's a shit ton of candy you got there. Whoa, who gave you guys a full-size Kit Kat? They didn't make you guys take your shirt off for him, did they? Oh, no, they didn't. Snap into a Slim Jim. Well, Michael, your hyper ass ain't eating all this candy. I'm taking half of it. Oh, what? Are you serious? Damn right I'm serious. That's a stepdad tax. 50% of your candy. Don't be a baby. I left you all the good stuff anyways. Brewstew.com